What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to Finance with Tony. I'm Tony and here we are sharing some ideas about the frugal lifestyle and uh, in this uh, uh, Sunday morning I, I will give you the scope of what's going on here in the Narimsky Square uh, of, uh, that is situated in Novosibirsk city here in the capital of Siberia. Siberia is 10% of the world's landmass and also um, it, it is uh, the home for, uh, for a tapestry of humanity. I mean, uh, there is a mountain pot of cultures and it's roughly 38 million people, including uh, forests and uh, hot hello from Novosibirsk city. Uh, Novosibirsk has a population of 1.6 million people and I want to just uh, share with you uh, this vibe, uh, this vibe of Sunday morning here in Narimsky Square, uh, and uh, I guess uh, uh, that would be uh, interesting in terms of how you can uh, figure out to organize your uh, your life, uh, your your space. Uh, I mean, um, this park uh, situ is situated just uh, two or three minutes on foot from my apartment and uh, definitely um, uh, if you are my friend, you already know that uh, I try to, to show you how my financial habits uh, play on the ground and uh, how I can uh, save some money for commuting or various uh, I can save some time uh, just uh, uh, living in, in, in the central part of uh, metropolitan area uh, and speaking about Siberia on top of that you can expect some rock bottom prices uh, obviously the uh, access so this type of infrastructure is free. Uh, you can only uh, you you have to only pay for uh, for renting renting a car uh, like this for for your baby. Uh, it costs like five dollars, I guess. Uh, oh no, it's two two dollar. Two dollar twenty cents, yeah. Two dollar uh, twenty cents per, uh, I guess, an, uh, per thirty minutes, I guess, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, there is the plenty of choices, such uh, such cars like this, and they also have. Uh, some uh, second uh, point like this uh, um, I guess it's difficult to to, to see from such uh, of course it's also uh, a place for jogging and uh, you can ride, uh, rent a bicycle or take a bicycle uh, by your own. So, um, uh, also, I made some videos about um, uh, about education infrastructure. I mean, childhood education infrastructure in, in Siberia before, uh, and recently uh, there was some observation of uh, of uh, playground of, of, of some playgrounds uh, and obviously it's uh, also free uh, to, uh, to, to use the play, the playground municipal play, playground uh, for for downtime with your family from your children 
uh, with, with your children. So check it out the next one here in Narimsky Square. Um, I would say usually it's a little bit more people, or especially uh, during the weekend. Uh, but uh, despite today's uh, weekend, I mean, uh, the, despite it's a Sunday morning, uh, here is not so many people, and you can definitely, uh, you can definitely find some place for your activities. Uh, so, also Siberia is a, during the summer is a good place uh, to be in terms of uh, greenery outside, you know, various trees as you can see. So, and pretty walkable, by the way. I mean, check out this coverage. So, um, actually, uh, I made uh, plenty uh, of videos uh, near this place, near Narimsky Square, and uh, also inclu including uh, recent one was about. Uh, the, movie, uh, the movie theater, I mean outdoor movie theater with an inflatable movie screen. Uh, unfortunately without movie screen uh, because uh, we have some upstick uh, of uh, uh, COVID pandemic. Uh, on the background you can see uh, a sculpture and I guess it's, uh, it's not an obvious to figure out uh, what, what is it, but uh, it's a baby actually. I mean if you uh, if you look carefully uh, on the top of the sculpture, you'll see a baby, uh, and uh, so I guess it's a pretty much symbolize uh, the sculpture pretty much uh, symbolize uh, the vibe of Novosibirsk city as a place for uh, good. Uh, conditions in terms of raising children and um, for some recreational activities uh, like Altai Mountains which is uh, the Siberian Alps and also um, yeah but by the way on the background I, I uh, it was uh, my attempt uh, to show you uh, in another spot with uh, this, those cars for children. I mean, uh, uh, little cars for for little drivers, right? On the background, you can see a guy with a, in a, in a pink uniform. Oh, it's too late. Probably uh, we have uh, all possible types of applications including food delivery applications and also uh, uh, usually at this time is already flowers but uh, I guess uh, there is some delay uh, with landscaping this year um, and we we can see just future flowers <laughs> I mean yeah it's just greenery and also I did the video with uh, with this sculpture before it's a uh, it's a symbol of uh, marital relationship uh, like is it like 40 people uh, and uh, here's a bunny that if you can see yeah there's a bunny has probably as a symbol of uh, fruitful uh, of, uh, 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 fruitful relationships and uh, so here's a uh, 
for the uh, Peter and Febronia uh, of Murom uh, basically uh, some royal uh, family or some elite in back to the back to the uh, uh, early days of Russia I mean uh, it, it was uh, key Kiev, Russia, you know, uh, Russia with the capital in Kiev, uh, because Kiev, uh, uh, we we uh, is a common sentence, the uh, common common word that uh, or common phrase that uh, uh, in I mean in, in Russian uh, in Russian culture uh, that Kiev is a mother of Russian cities and uh, if you are aware about current political situation it can give you the clue why it's a uh, so it has some dramatical scale and it's really a tragedy for uh, current political situation for our Russian culture for uh, society I mean uh, uh, Russia doesn't have a national identity like uh, uh, religion or maybe ethnical. We are multiple of cultures and uh, people in Russia speak in 125 different languages. 25 of them are official. People in Siberia speak in 40 different languages uh, uh, and 10 of them are official. Uh, my grand-grand-grandfather even, uh, sorry, my grand-grandfather even uh, didn't uh, didn't uh, sp uh, even uh, spoke. Uh, my grand grandfather spoke only Ukrainian. Uh, I have Jewish roots, and uh, my ancestors came here uh, roughly 100 years ago. Um, and on the background, you can see some uh, hobby, like one of the hundreds of miscellaneous types of hobbies that you can uh, expect here in Siberia uh, they uh, they uh, they uh, have some workout with swords like uh, uh, Kazakh swords uh, and uh, yeah uh, definitely uh, many people came from Siberia uh, to Siberia from uh, Ukraine and uh, including my grand grandfather uh, and also when it comes to Kazakhs uh, there is remarkable also that um, in the late of 18th century in the late of 18th century uh, one of the favorites uh, of Yekaterina the Great, even Patyom, is it called Patyomkin, even tried to uh, to organize. Uh, he he tried to organize some special part of military service for uh, Jewish Kaz uh, uh, Kazakhs uh, who were who were uh, I mean for people who were. Kazakhs and Jew uh, Jewish uh, simultaneously, and uh, the the history the story says that uh, in last uh, moment he cancelled his uh, his uh, uh, his idea <laughs> or his uh, his uh, resolution uh, because uh, somebody uh, persuade. Uh, um, he, uh, he he realized that uh, uh, Potemkin, uh, the uh, kingsman of, of uh, or the uh, anyway this man, <laughs> uh, Potemkin realized that um, it's uh, 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 it would be a conflict with a god uh, if he will. Uh, 
uh, maintain uh, if if he make uh, uh, if he where uh, if he was make this possible. So here is a tennis court in the background. And I guess that would be pretty much all for this video. Uh, I did, uh, I, I made some uh, videos about uh, Naremsky Square before. Feel free to check, check them as well. And thank, thanks for. Thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Really appreciate you. Uh, and uh, feel free to press thumb up and uh, feel free to leave your comment, uh, your uh, uh, your comments and questions uh, in the comments below. And of course, uh, Karen is sharing. Uh, and uh, feel feel free to uh, share this video and also uh, look at this pigeons uh, on the background here here's a plate of pigeons uh, they are sometimes very active and uh, uh, people enjoy to feed them and, um, and, and people enjoy to to, to feed them and also we have uh, red squirrels uh, of course and I wouldn't I can see one to show you but there are plenty of them also a lot of squirrels uh, red squirrels uh, and um, in, in my previous videos about uh, Narevsky Square I made some uh, pictures of uh, of a uh, cup of sculptures, uh, a cup of monuments, uh, uh, one of them devoted to uh, nuclear uh, threat and uh, next, the next one to the government terror. So uh, again, thanks, uh, thank you very much, uh, feel free to check out these videos. Uh, uh, thanks for coming along guys, uh, I really appreciate your attention, have an awesome day.